One of the ways we can produce electricity is by using wind turbines to harness the force of the wind. But how does that happen? The answer is much simpler than you might guess. It starts when the wind blows and slowly turns a turbine's blades. In the main housing, called the nacelle, there's a lot of components for stability and direction, but the key components of a common configuration of wind turbine are the drive shaft, the gearbox, and the generator. The force of the wind turns the blades, which turn the drive shaft. The drive shaft has a large gear in the gearbox that turns a smaller one. Because the second gear is smaller, it turns faster, fast enough to make electricity. That second gear turns a rotor. This rotates inside a drum of wire coils called a stator. The rotor excites the electrons in the stator, creating an electrical current. This process works exactly like the alternator in your car. The current travels down a cable inside the tower and into a transformer at the bottom where it is converted to a higher voltage for long distance travel. The power is transported across high voltage power lines until it is stepped down to a lower voltage for use in businesses and houses. So when you flip the switch in your house, the current flows through the wires, travels through your home, and completes the circuit, lighting up your room. 